Hello friends, welcome to Nigra Techies. Today I am going to start new series for ReactJS. First let me explain what is ReactJS. So the ReactJS is the open source front-end JavaScript library. It is maintained by the Facebook. Now they are changed their name into Meta. And today is the world we have the heavy competition for the software development. We can see the n number of sites. So the main focus is like especially just to consider about the social media sites we are expecting the performance should be very high like if you are opening any page it should be loaded quickly and if you are watching any video without buffering it should be loaded that's what the expectation so that's why the react is also coming in the picture nowadays more than two lakhs of websites are using this react js framework so not only this meta even this instagram and netflix apple they are also developing their software using this react js framework because the performance only and now let me explain why the react js or else what are the advantages we have if you are using this react js the react js is the single page application using this we can develop the web application as well the mobile application also it provides the class platform support and it's having the component concept so the codes are loosely coupled so a number of developers can work simultaneously with the different parts and we can reuse the components also and one more main important thing is the website responds to you and the look and feel the rich look that is also very important thing so basically we can use the bootstrap and material UI for the good look and feel for any website so they also providing the support for react.js and they have providing a number of components that also we can reuse in on the react.js and this React is basically designed to provide the high performance in mind. The core of the framework offers virtual DOM program and server side rendering. In order to, they are improving the performance. Now the third point, how to learn the React JS. This is a very important thing. So if you want to learn this React JS, you should have some basic knowledge about the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And if you are confident about these all things, then it's very easy to learn. And also, if you already have a knowledge about the Angular application, it's very easy because the folder structure and the working style and running the commands. So everything almost similar. It's having some minimal difference only. So then it's easy to learn. And the tools required. If you are using this any of the application, you should have the perfect environment. Then only you will work. So for running the application of React.js, you should have a Node.js in your machine. It will basically install the NPM also. Then you should have the any of the code editor. So I would suggest to use the Visual Studio code uh, because it's very easy to use. I had a wonderful experience using this Visual Studio code. So I also suggesting the same. So in this series, I'm going to explain the several topics like the installation of the react.js application and folder structure how to create the components how to create the real-time application and how to consume the services in the react.js so we can see everything in the detail for the upcoming videos for my next video i'm going to explain how to install the required things for this environmental setup and also how to create the first react application and how to run the application and especially we can see the folder structure and how it should be what are the files we have what are the functions doing the separate files so we can see everything in the details request you to subscribe my channel and please stay tuned for my next video if you are subscribed only you will get my all videos instantly thank you thanks for watching